What's up, what's up, what's up? It's T-Walk the Hawk for today's Q&A. The question is, how can I lose pregnancy weight quickly? Before we start, make sure y'all click that subscribe because I'm going to be doing two Q&As every single week. Make sure y'all send me questions on Instagram, comment on here. My Instagram's at twalkdogfitness. But yeah, make sure y'all stay tuned for the rest of this video so we can get into more detail. Let's get right into it. All right, so we ain't gonna drag this video along because I got a lot of videos kind of breaking out in more detail. Um, the specifics of how to drop that weight, drop body fat. And again, that's what you're referring to. You're referring to body fat. You want to tone up, you want to tighten your stomach up. So on your arms, legs, thighs, everything like that. So let's get rid of that word weight because we ain't worried about the scale, we're worried about dropping body fat. Two different things. And again, I'll go into that in some other videos. But yeah, really quick. Key points, make sure you're eating the right stuff, not cutting back your meals, eating frequently so your metabolism sped up. Look up my other videos or Google somewhere else uh, the right foods to eat. Make sure you're eating the right amount of calories based on your starting weight, okay? Start there. Now as far as exercise, make sure you're focusing on resistance training. Have a routine, make sure it's always switching up. Don't focus on cardio. Cardio, you'll lose some pounds on the scale, You'll burn some calories, but you're not actually dropping body fat. So we're not worried about cardio. We want to do weights. That doesn't mean you have to lift heavy. Make sure you're doing a routine where it's switching up, not doing the same stuff every single day. High reps, 15, 25 reps, short breaks as possible. Of course, if you're new to it, you have to build your endurance up, but try to take less than 30 second breaks between each exercise. If you can get it down to 10 seconds or even no break at all and do a straight up circuit, that's a lot better. That's going to be the most effective way to get back to cardio really quick. You do want to incorporate that. You just don't want it to be the foundation. When you're doing your cardio, do it as intense as possible. Um, I'll link some other videos I have on that below. Check them out. But yeah, when you're doing your cardio, I would say the best thing to do is hit cardio. That's how you're going to burn the most calories. That's so pretty much to break it down. It's like doing intervals. So you do say five minutes quick as possible. Next five minutes, turn resistance up. You're going to go a little slower. Bounce it back and forth. Always switch it up, but make sure you're pushing yourself. Don't do an hour on a treadmill of a light walk. Don't do an hour of jogging. Do 30 minutes intense. It saves you time. You'll burn more calories than you would walking for two hours, okay? Look up HIIT training, interval training for cardio. And I, like I said, I'm going to link a video below. But yeah, short and sweet, that's the steps. Don't focus on abs. All that's going to do is build muscle underneath your stomach. That's not going to actually tighten and tone until you drop that body fat, okay? Be quiet, cheddar. And I'll holler at y'all later. Again, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, any questions you have, and stay tuned for more. As always, do what you got to do because it's that simple. T-Walk the Hawk.